Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Mike Pearson. Today we're joined by Lakeville North Boys Varsity Assistant Coach Jake Taylor. And we're talking about defense and the position of playing defenseman. And part of our goal today is just to share some insights with our youth association coaches and players, those who aspire to play uh, defensively at the high school level. Just some insights and ideas in terms of things to be thinking about during the season as well as the off season. So we want to get into Coach Taylor's head a little bit in terms of the things he looks for from his defensemen and ideas and suggestions he can pass along to our youth and our youth coaches. So, Coach Taylor, welcome to the broadcast today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you here today. So let's talk first about we're in the middle of our seasons, association seasons, probably two-thirds of the way in. Coaches are busy working with their teams. They're working with forwards, defensemen, trying to figure out what to do with goalies. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's a it's a full challenge for anybody that's coached at the youth level. And then the kids are all ambitious. They're out there showing up to practices and games, wanting to get better, showing up to the high school games, saying, "Hey, I want to play defensively on this high school team someday." And so, there's a lot going on in our youth programs. How can you maybe simplify some of this from a defensive standpoint? Some ideas you might share with some of the the kids, yeah, and the coaches in terms of whether they're a squirt, a peewee, or a bantam, what are some of the main things, two or three, four things that you say, hey, here are some things to keep on your radar if you really aspire to be a defenseman? Yeah, Can you talk sure. about that a little bit? Yeah. So I think, uh, um, you know, at the high school level, what we really talk about and focus on a lot is <clears throat> first, taking away time and space. So obviously to do that, skating is very important. So, um, you know, my advice if I was talking to uh, a squirt or a peewee, just kind of getting going, trying to learn the game. Uh, the nice thing is with no checking in those two levels, it actually, um, it allows them to have to work on the things, you know, that they maybe couldn't overcompensate with, with size or whatever. They have to be able to contain guys. So um, the couple drills that we do with the high school guys is we'll start off the practice with just working on some transition forward to backward. We'll start really slow, just going across the blue line, um, having the guys step out without crossing over. You know, and then transitioning back to four is using as little uh, movement as possible so that they can be efficient with their skating. So uh, I think with the with the younger kids too, the more they're on one skate, they got to have that, that uh, leg strength to be able to you know be on one skate and push off, change directions fast. Uh, so that would be that would be uh, one key that I would say that is very critical to to pay attention to, and then. Um, my biggest thing, and I think the thing that makes it the easiest for a defenseman, is having a good stick. So what I mean by that is when you're taking away time and space in the game, the easy way, easiest way to do that is one hand on your stick, mirroring the puck wherever it's at. So as the guy's going down the wall, my stick's on, you know, my stick is mirroring the puck, using my off hand to kind of control his body. So <clears throat> not only are your feet having to move, but then you're also being able to take away and add pressure to the player with your stick. So... So I think those would be the two things to really focus on, uh, especially if you're a younger player and you know not having checking in squirts and pewees. Good point. It makes it great for that those skills because you have to go stick on puck. You can't finish them with your body. So you got to keep your feet moving, stick on puck until you find an opportunity where you can get two hands on your stick, get underneath the stick, and get the puck. Yeah. So those good are the two, two big keys. Two very good fundamentals. Uh, having a, uh, one of my older boys, a defenseman, those things have served him well. Talk real quick before we transition about off-season about this phrase we hear a lot of coaches talking a lot about keeping it simple, keeping it simple. Yeah. Insights on that in terms of defensemen uh, carrying the puck and, and, and whatnot. Yeah. Two seconds on that. For uh, sure. Uh, well, you know, I think we, we kind of gotten lost a little bit in thinking we have to be involved in all these things and AAA teams and all this stuff where, um, you know, if you really get back to the nitty-gritty of shooting pucks in your basement, and becoming an athlete, you know, going out and running, doing plyometrics. There's a lot of things you can do without a coach or somebody there. And um, I think as you get older and realize that the things that you're doing when nobody's watching is actually the stuff that probably matters the most. Yeah. Um, so then when you are on a AAA team or you are in a situation where the lights are on and it's time to play a game, you've put in the work, extra work, other than, you know, the, the summer practices or whatever to put yourself in the best position to succeed. So so that's what I would always um, I would always really encourage kids to take the time to shoot pucks. Set a goal for the summer of I'm gonna shoot ten thousand pucks or whatever your number is, you know, mm -hmm. and have a little um, have a little board on your wall that you just check off every day, shot a hundred, shot a hundred, you know. Mm -hmm. Spend fifteen minutes just stick hell on a, a tennis ball or maybe get a weighted puck or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, those things that aren't super glamorous, but are going to be the, the game changer at the end of the day. Right. It's the ones that are putting in that extra time. For sure. They'll show up when the regular season comes around. For Final sure. thought, um, off-season, Lakeville North does a good job um, providing clinic opportunities and whatnot in the summer. Yeah. Kids can sign up. They should probably start thinking about that. February, March, um, you talked about doing some uh, off-ice stuff during the course of the summer. Yeah. Any final thoughts about the off-season and all for defensemen in terms of um, anything that they should be thinking about meaningfully? No, I think, uh, you know, with the with the setup that we have now with the partnership with MAP and now, um, you know, having a little bit more involvement with the high school coaches too and, and uh, Ryan Kraft I think is going to be really kind of a cool... Kirk Olson uh, on the... Kirk Olson on the weightlifting side. Yeah. Um, you know, so to, to say that we're giving our kids the opportunity to have a really good program here, yeah. um, you know, I think we have, a, we have a good option. So I'd say for the defensemen, um, you know, it's really just working on number one skating for sure. So you can do that in a forward drill, you can do that in a defensive drill, but just becoming as good of an overall skater as you possibly can. Yeah. Good. We appreciate your thoughts. Yeah. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah. Thanks for having We've been me. joined today by Lakeville North Boys varsity assistant coach Jake Taylor uh, to all our youth coaches and youth players. Um, some great ideas, great things to think about, keeping your skating good, keeping the game simple, um, utilizing your stick. Start thinking about all these things as you finish the second half of your season and doing all the, the hard work in the off season. Keys to uh, keys to success and eventually playing for the uh, the North Boys varsity hockey team at some day. So thanks for joining us for another edition of Coach's Corner. Join us each week for updates and insights into Lakeville North Boys hockey. We appreciate you joining us. We'll see you at the rink.